We're talking to you today from high above Manhattan in the beautiful Sirius XM building, uh, which now has a lobby packed full of young studs. The Cosmo Bachelors, is that their names? Oh, yeah, from every state. Uh, every state is represented. They're all in tight black shirts with their state name on it, as well as Cosmo. And I'll say this. It comes off looking a little embarrassing, kind of chick-like, when they have to dress the same. Yeah, it's ridiculously silly looking. I don't know what the hell they're doing. It's an embarrassment, <laughs> but something that you said to me, even worse, uh, let's bring in Rustin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rustin, of course, is our young uh, go-getter of a... Uh, well, I guess he's an exchange student, is the way that I picture him. <laughs> Uh, Rustin, yes, it may be time for a short leash for you, my friend. I don't mind you running around here making this place your playground. But yeah. I don't want to get emails sent to me with you and another young man uh, kind of cheek to cheek together, yeah. smiling. It makes the show look bad. Oh, God. I'm not. I'm not happy that this exists. Why um, you look happy in this picture? A big smile. I, that's not a big smile. You're, you're each together. You and the Texas uh, yeah. bachelor throwing up the satanic yeah. uh, horns of the devil. Yeah. Praying uh, to Satan himself. What the hell are you doing? Uh, and why the smile? One of the people, and I'm not going to name names. One mm. of the people from booking uh, thought it'd be a great idea that the Texas intern and the Texas. Cosmo Bachelor took a picture together. I was not for the idea, but he mm. insisted that I needed to do it for the betterment of the company. I get this sent to me. Yeah, right. I get it sent to me under the headline, What Time Does Your Fag Show Start? Oh, come. That, and that is a problem for this show. I express, I explicitly said this to Liam. Fuck. Uh, to <laughs> whoever it was from oh, booking. Oh, so it was Liam, <laughs> it you rat. You fucking dirty rat. Dropping dimes. I didn't mean uh, to say that. X, I got two words for you. Uh, two or two friends, this fucker. Got it. Come on. This will be the way that we introduce you <laughs> to the listening audience, because people have been asking to see you for quite some time. I don't know if I really want this to be the... We could do so many better... What are you doing uh, hanging around with the Cosmo Boys? I was working for the show, trying to get the studio Lee up, and I was ambushed by Liam. Who forced me into this fucking picture? And he brought the guy up. And what am I gonna say, dude? I don't want to take a picture with you because I'm afraid it'll look gay. Brought him up. Where is that the lobby I'm looking at? I was coming down with the stuff, and Liam's like, "You have to come here. You have to come here right now." And I didn't want to say, "Hey, Liam, this is gonna look gay," because those you? guys probably are gay. Why would they be gay? They're they're, they're in Cosmo. They're eligible bachelors. Because it's sixty guys all wearing the tight black T-shirts. They all right, look the same. but this is their chance to catapult into stardom. And how many states do we have? Oh, is, there, is it all the states? I thought maybe there were ten alternates. Okay. I see that we're all ganging up I on me. I didn't even hear that part. Did. What did he say, Fez? There's 60 guys down there, each representing the United States. Thanks. I appreciate it, Fez. I wasn't even onto that. Good. Way to bust this fuck. Uh, this is a humiliation for the show. It's humiliation for me, Ron. I don't want to be known for this. It's too late. You put it out there. I did not put this out there. I didn't take a picture. It was not my camera. Why are you smiling? Why do you have a, a come drinking uh, grin on your face? I'm a friendly guy. I'm not going to fucking be rude to the... He's wearing Texas on the shirt. He went to UT. At, where, at what point little... are you going to stop being rude? After he comes? Yeah, I guess. Um, you know all about him. These guys aren't gay. These are Cosmos uh, eligible bachelors for their female audience. But I will say this. And I've never been a person who went, Oh, the... Hooters girls, that's the meaning to women, or play girl, playboy, that's the meaning to women. But when I see guys being treated like this, part of me thinks, you know, they're all so interchangeable. Yeah. It's uh, a little disgusting. And the girls are, the girls and you are going crazy over these guys today. No, I'm not, I wasn't going crazy. I was frustrated at the fact that they were blocking the lobby. All right, you how... took advantage of the fact that I was an intern. and You're uh, 19 years old, right? Yeah. It's time for you to get man lessons. Okay. Fez, I want you to take this kid under your wing. Well and do. Teach Wait, him how a man acts. Absolutely. Would love to tutor him. Uh, Fez, I know you have the guitar. 
uh, mm-hmm. where you can tell if someone is ga or not. Right. Are these guys ga or are they straight guys that are just trying to get uh, women to like them? They're straight guys. You could just tell. I mean, uh, I I will throw this out there. Metrosexual? Yes, they're into grooming. But uh, no. That's gay. Yeah. That's gay. Yeah, you know, gay. It, it's very funny that we even bring this up because just as I'm coming to uh, work today through uh, Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan, as a matter of fact, I think to myself, the world has become very effeminate. There's a lot of effeminate men on the planet right now, or at least in Midtown Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, and then I get this picture sent to me. First of all, you were in your Crawford High School thing. Time to put that away, pirate. Crawford Pirates 04. But pirates. It's up no. on 202 Friends. But oh, no. God damn it. It's been leaked. Uh, now the media has it. We gotta find out who leaked this first, because I'm not... Ron, I don't think we need to... From this picture, it looks like you're leaking. Uh, oh, oh, God! Oh, God that's disgusting! No! I'm, don't worry. I'm no! gonna take him under my wing like it's you said. Not. I'm gonna handle this. Oh! This isn't true. Uh! This is... Oh, I don't, I don't God. Feel, I don't feel as welcome today as I have in the past. That's the problem. You've brought shame to the show. These Cosmo Bachelors have ruined fucking everything. I'm not. These Cosmo Bachelors are on top of the world right now, and you come off looking like a fucking groupie, which is embarrassing. Raising the fist. <laughs> what are you doing? It's called a poopy, Ron. What are you doing with the fucking satanic... Uh, Points. Okay, well, which which is gayer? Just taking a picture with the guy, or at least we had we had something we had something that we were doing. We were. Was your arm around him? No, because no. I don't see your right arm. It's really t- sitting down. Yeah, it's but where down is Mr. Texas's arm? See, down the way the you side. have your fingers, it's like he's saying to himself, "I can touch his asshole and his pistol at the same time." Disgusting. Um, eight six six run zero fez eight six six. Ron, zero fez. Time for your Ichibans today. As the show starts in shame. Uh, when people get a divorce, uh, that, the, that the world is a little less stable than you thought. Yeah, when you're getting a divorce, you're like, this was the perfect thing to do. Finally. This was smart. And it's going to work out. See, when I was in school, I was I was always happy when my friends' parents would get divorced because I felt like because my parents got divorced when I was early, so and they were like, my parents get divorced. Like, fuck yeah, I'm not the only one now. Well, so it right. just thrilled me that more and more people were joining the club. Uh, how old were you uh, when your parents got the divorce? Three. That has a lot to do with this. I don't want to say gay thing, but effeminate. You don't need to say gay liking thing. To have your picture taken with other men. Yeah. Um. So some of this isn't your fault. Some of it was forced on you by society. Yeah. All right? Okay. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Um, John, New Jersey. You're on Fez. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. I just, I just wanted to say, you know, if you're taking a picture with a dude and it's not a good friend or, you know, a celebrity, it's pretty fucking gay. I even think uh, having the picture with a friend or a celebrity, if they're male, is kind of gay. Now, I will, well, then, I'll give in if a listener comes here. I want to have my picture taken with you. But I can't think of any time I've done this on purpose with other celebrities. Though some celebrities like to document everything that they're doing for an odd reason, particularly the older ones. Like anyone who put out an album in the 1950s goes like this. Now let's have our picture taken. After the interview, and you're like, really? Yes. And they have a professional person who uh, follows them around and just takes pictures. I'm gonna, I, you know what? I'm going to have to stand up. I totally disagree with this whole, and I know that I'm on the other side of it now, but just because uh, people having their picture taken, that's not a gay thing. Look, gay, come, breath. Gay. come breath. I'm not judging <laughs> that's, you. That's his name. Um, it really, you know, you do your own thing. I'm open-minded about this. I'm a live and let live guy. All right. Well, no, and if it was, you don't see me caught up in the prop eight talk. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. You're fine in this world. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't see. I don't see the gayness of it. Maybe effeminate to have a picture taken, but I think gays. You dove into well, a man pile to get this picture taken. And not only that, but let's go back to Birdman, <laughs> your other fucking hero. <laughs> I don't know why Fez isn't on my side here. I think that. 
Fez isn't on your side because if there's time to put the boots to someone, yeah. Fez suddenly acts like, I'm not nervous. I don't need to be near the room. <laughs> he smells blood, so he's into the pool yeah. biting with the rest of the sharks. Yeah. This is his time to shine. Someone is down. They're <laughs> stomping to be done. But, uh, and, and of course, why would he protect this thing that he, you know, at one point was important to him? Forget it. You are okay. down on the ground. Uh, but the picture of you and Birdman. Yeah. Uh, and you waited a long time for that. No, yeah, I was excited about getting that. What have you done with it since then? I showed it, I showed it to my friends. I, I'm not from here. I'm taking their pictures of everything. I mean, I, t I went to Central Park on Sunday, took pictures of that, too. With other people? Uh, sometimes I took a picture of a couple sing-alongs with a bunch of people. And I just wanted to show, I want to show people the experiences I'm having. Oh, you here. mean the, uh, you went up to, uh, Strawberry Fields? Yeah. And you just called that a sing-along. It was John Lennon's birthday. It's well, not just like a fucking sing-along. If I would have said I was up at John Lennon's birthday, you would have said, oh, why, yo, you're dropping names now? That's what we're doing? Well, I the man's like... been dead for 30 years. You're not dropping <laughs> a fucking like, name. You don't know him. I feel like I'm very under the bus here, and I'm trying to be careful with what I say. You're um, lucky Watley doesn't put on fucking steel-tipped boots <laughs> and start tearing your fucking skull out. I, I'm taking pictures of everything Go ahead, that Fez, happens get up here. Um, yeah, all you needed next to the UT was a C and an E to make it cutie. Oh, I thought you were going to go for a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> but I had that go. I'm going, you got him. You got him. I mean, I personally have taken a picture of you and a listener, Ron. And I would never dream in a million years of thinking that there was anything going on there except for no, just but a here's couple the thing. people having a little I, picture taken. I'm asked to be in the picture, sure. It's not like I'm going on my way to find someone. I'm not running down there. Mr. Pennsylvania, can I get a quick picture for my mom? The way that this is being remembered, it's 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 patently false. I was asked to be in a picture, and I'm not the type of person who says, "No, I'm not going to be in a picture because I think it might look gay." I don't Speaking like to gay, offend people. I don't like to Vince Vaughn this shit up in there. I like it, to be settle PC. down. Settle down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Speaking of gay, here's a guy named Silly calling call from Rockford. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hi guys, it's a it's a girl, sure. but anyway, well, girls can I, be gay. Uh, yeah. Put your bowling I, ball down and talk to us. All right. I think that the picture of Rustin and the Texas guy looks like a young Obama and uh, Blagojevich. Wow. <laughs> That's actually hurtful in the oddest way. Yeah. Um, I think Rustin looks like a junior member of the Bush family there. With the Crawford shirt, the satanic uh, hands, the I, I comb my hair with a jelly roll look. I think you look like the all-American boy. Well, thank one, thank you, and two. If oh, I you're was, welcome. If I was trying to get a picture, wouldn't I try to make myself look a little better? I was obviously just. I saw in front the picture of the with you at Birdman. You look like <laughs> shit that day too. Um, eight six six run zero fez. Eight six six run zero fez. Uh, Drew, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Um, just wanted to know when did uh, Fez let Rustin borrow that two pay of his? It looks good. Um, I don't know if that's Fez's old toupee, but I do think if you wear another man's toupee, gay. I can't disagree with that. Here's some of the things that strike me as gay about okay. you. That picture. <laughs> okay. Uh, two, moving from Texas to Manhattan. Okay. Much like Joe Buck. That's a gay move. There you are in the middle of Texas, and you're like, I just feel like I need to get to the big city. I feel like I don't belong here, and I'd fit in better in the big city. I don't, I don't feel like that was the case at all. You know how they always do the bit of Texas only steers and queers? Yeah. I've heard now people are just saying there's just steers there. After you moved, they've dropped half of that bit. I, don't re I feel like I've had, a, I've had a month and a half of great times, built up a lot of goodwill. You've I don't want to actually been here six weeks this. already? I think so. And you haven't fucking learned a goddamn thing about this business. I'm nervous. You came in here acting like I really want to learn radio. No. And it's become this. I'm just running around from one celeb pick to the other. And I'm not sure in that picture that you have, and it's up on 202 Friends right now. Oh, yeah. I think you got a nipple show, and I think you pulled it down, and you're popping a nipple out. And it's a hard nipple, too. Oh, God. I didn't it's look cold. That it's close. cold in the building. Is it's it? not on me. Fuck. All right. I'll give you that one. I didn't know it was that cold out there. Fezzy? Oh, it's hot as hell. Uh, 866 run zero Fez. 866 run zero Fez. Jim in uh, North Carolina, you're on Fez. 
Ronnie B, boys, yeah. how we doing? Um, what do you say, my friend? Uh, I just wanted to talk about that picture thing you guys were talking about earlier, taking pictures of dudes. I don't think what Rustin's talking about is gay at all, but you know it is gay. It's like an accepted thing now. I'm in, I'm around Rustin's age. In college, dudes taking cameras out to fucking bars and taking pictures and then putting the uh, photos on Facebook. And Rustin probably could back me up on that. It's fucking gay as hell. All right, first of all, Rust brother sounds gay. Uh, what is he talking about here? You you yeah. You like to show your party pics? <clears throat> yeah, people in college and high school now suck. I mean, they're terrible with Facebook. You, uh -huh. you, like, you've seen them before. Every party that you go to, you have some chick, and she's doing a jello shot. Right. It's like, well, I was at the party, and I don't need to fucking see this. And my mom's on Facebook. Your mom know. goes and checks your Facebook pictures? Well, if something pops up, she would probably she would check it out. What is she going to do with this picture of you and this obviously gay A-Rod that There's you're with? There's no way in right. hell I'm putting this shit up on my Facebook. I don't put a lot of pictures on my Facebook. The Birdman was an exception. <laughs> but the, the, this is the well, last obviously. fucking time I ever take a picture with anybody ever again oh, in my entire life. Oh, you ruined oh, it. You ruined it for me. You've ruined picture taking. Don't. This is another sign that you're gay when <laughs> I'm going to hurt you by doing something to myself. Yeah. I'm so mad at you, I'm going to take the enjoyment out of my life. Yeah. So deal with that. Am I right, Fez? Absolutely. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Jeff, in New Jersey, you're on my Fez. Yeah, anytime you're taking a picture with a pretty boy and there's any touching, you're gurgling the yogurt. <laughs> All right, that's not good. Gurgling. Now, this is something I... Um, there are so many people who think that you are the former governor of Illinois, that I'm starting to worry about this. I'm now thinking that's a bad picture of you. It is a bad picture of me. The whole picture's bad. It's a fucking negative day. Who took day. the picture? That tra traitor shitbag Liam that I'm oh. not friends with anymore. Well, I didn't know. You you guys stopped being friends? Today, we stopped being friends. Wow. Damn. He set me, you know, have you ever been set up, Ron? You've been set up? By before? cops, yes. Yeah. Well, fucking Officer Liam today. That's <laughs> shit happened to me. Set my ass up. No one and ever then, set me up with gay pics. This picture happened at probably 10.50, and by 10.55, he had emailed everybody on the show. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> he did. I, I, he said, I said, Liam, I don't know if we should do this. I'm going to get a lot of gay shit for this. And he goes, no, 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 it's cool. It'll be great. It's fine. you got to do it for te Texas. you got to do the Texas thing. Oh, All right, God. Liam. This turned into a nightmare. I trust you. I trust you, Liam, as a, as a, as a member of the serious staff. I'm putting my faith in you. To have my best interest at heart. And that's fucking not the truth anymore. This is a disappointing day, Ron. Uh, it is. And we've got... Uh, I think we need new pictures of you because I, th I don't think you look like that criminal. They said right, they're they're retweeting, back. which I didn't want oh. to do. Um, I did this. Rustin's hair makes him look like Justin Bieber and Donald Tr Trump's buttfuck child. Oh, you can have children from butt fucking. Astronaut, yes. He looks like John Mayer shit him out. That's not fair. No. Worst hair piece I've ever seen. You have a rug on? All right, this is one, and my taint is this long, and because you had the fingers up like that. I didn't know Rustin was half an Earl. That's not Rustin. That's the <laughs> other guy, Casey Munson. A lot of Tom Brady hairs. Oh, this is good. Hook 'em horns, gay horns, nice shirt, dick, and that comes from <laughs> that comes from Jermaine Lucier, what? the wow. disrespectful baseball fan. That was right to the point. I like Crawford Pirates, more like Crawford Butt Pirates. He looks like a heavy John Mayer. Rustin, more like Gaston. <laughs> That's not even clever. And here's one that I don't even like at all. It just simply says, "Fuck you, Rustin." So that's, that's from Admiral Dan. I feel like putting this picture out. Just <laughs> you just open up for a lot of for a you, lot of unrelated hate to fucking come right, my way. That's right. That's true. And you were doing great on the show. Everybody loved you best. And what I think is most interesting about this is a month ago, I you told me you said I'm getting a ton of great emails about you. And I was like, well, send them over. I could use encouragement. No, no, we can't do that. <laughs> if anybody wants to shit on you and call you stupid gay faggot, we'll throw throw that shit oh! on the internet. You're the one in the picture. Why are you using the slur? I didn't direct it at you. Oh! Why would you direct it at me? You're the one posing with the eligible bachelors. Okay. You're the one putting the batch back in bachelor. Good one, Fez. Like, batches come. 
I don't, even, I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> well, you have nothing to say. Watley shut you down. Really? If, if this was a fucking race, uh, you'd be giving up your car. All right. I'll Just give up my try car. to be a little bit more professional. Okay. I don't want him charging those guys for sex. That's disgusting. Well, this internship's unpaid. Oh, by the way, Fez, that guy, the Texas guy asked me if he could come hang out and watch the Braves game next week. Oh! <laughs> Where are you meeting him for it? Oh, oh, that's really disgusting. That makes Rustin look gay. Um, only two things come out of Texas, Steers and Rustin. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Yeah. Some of these are just mean. It's up on the two. I would say most of these are just mean. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that way, too. Um, here's John. Man, you're on a fest. Now, if Rustin jumps off a bridge for this later, should Liam be held responsible? That's true. That's fucking true. Well, let me just say then this. We're going to Rutgers this kid. Any note that I leave, Ron and show and Liam will both be included in the fucking uh, people who caused it. You're on the list. You're oh. on the list. Just oh. so you know. It'll be a Jeez. thank you letter. Once I read that fucking horrible letter, I probably won't get to sleep till midnight. Um, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Well, the uh, number one intern... Of all time in the Ron and Fez show. Mm -hmm. Never have seen such love. Gets caught up in a Brett Favre-like scandal yeah. today when a man v. man picture pops up. Here's uh, Desra. Desra in Dallas. Rustin, more like Bustin, and not in a man's ass. This guy's name is Desiree. What the uh, fuck? It's a stripper's name. Desiree? And this guy's talking shit about me? This my Des. What do you got over there? Just butt water. Are you back to chewing on ice I'm not again? chewing. It's just ice water. I'm not chewing it, though. I'm trying to break Did that habit. Is the iron that you're supposed to, that you need? No, not yet. I, I don't like going to doctors. He chews on ice, and then the other day I saw him eating hairballs. <laughs> he can't help himself. You know what you need to do right now? What's that? To get out of this is have sex with a woman on cam. That's a good idea. I think or at least a off. guy in a in a wig. Yeah. Uh, Liam's in the other room. Liam has no idea the controversy he started with this. Uh, Liam. What's going on? Uh, our career came collapsing down, <laughs> as you know. Yeah. Uh, that young Rustin was the all-time hetero intern That's true. of the Ron Fez show, probably the first we've ever had. But uh, now with this, all hell's broken loose today. He claimed he was the best from Texas, and then we saw someone better in the oh! lobby. Oh! <laughs> Yay! No, this is let's let's call this Liam's lie time because we're about to hear a bunch of fucking lies <laughs> well, from the shit you know, bag what, in the other room. I'm then so why haven't you them. put together uh, you know some kind of promotional tunes? There's production, everything's coming in for him. Because as I explained, I was blindsided by this. I was set up and then blindsided by a conniving fucking Liam in there. Here's Julio in Tennessee. Hey guys, what's up? What what can we do for you? Rustin, more like butt plugs. <laughs> That's good. That's fucking good. No, I didn't hear that in fucking elementary school. That's good, dude. Um, Clever. Oh, you heard that? <laughs> butt plugs? No, I didn't hear that. I just didn't <laughs> like the guy. <laughs> what kind of elementary school was this? All right, now let's read some of these. Oh, no. uh, fucking faggot. Lots of queers in Texas. Some of these aren't even witty. No, there's not even a joke in a lot of them. No, well, that one was kind of funny. With queers in Texas. No. Um, all right, a lot of retweets going around. Justin Bieber's. That's really rough on you, Rustin. Uh, these pictures are up on 202 Friends on Twitter. Uh, here's uh, Rachel in Texas. Hey, Rustin, I just wanted to defend you as a fellow Texan. Texas is like no other state in the, in the whole United States. And I think that until you experience it, you cannot truly know what it is like to be from Texas or be so proud to be from a certain area. What does this have to do with anything we're talking about, lady? But, but Rustin is so Texas. Yeah, God bless Texas. I'm That's on the license plates. Uh, Don't Rustin, rush to Texas. Your mom, Rachel, is a very nice woman. <laughs> Um, Mr. D in Jersey, you're on Run of Fez. Rustin, more like Rustin trombone. <laughs> hey, Chris in Florida, you're on Run of Fez. A big D! 
A big yay! A big yay! Um, the weirdest thing here is that you were doing so great until this prank, in a very Rutgers way, yeah. got played on you. It, yeah. And if you go off the GW Bridge tonight, no one would blame you. Can, I just want to point out that this it's not in a very Rutgers way. Because that implies that there was fucking something going on that I didn't want to be caught. This but was, you're acting a, like... This was a total but, heterosexual... But you're acting like the worst thing that a man could ever be called is gay. I'm not acting like that. Your callers are acting like that. These crazy people are just saying faggot. First of all... I mean, it's unnecessary. St- first like of all, this. hey, let's stop with the my callers. These are our callers. Okay. All right? You're part of this now. We're a team. Yeah, we are a team. But you're ostracized right, right. now. <laughs> and there's no gay in team. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-FEZ. Here's Mike, Wisconsin. You're on a Fez. Hey there, guys. Yeah. Uh, it kind of sounds like Rustin got fucked, kind of like his Rangers over the weekend. Ooh. Wow. Dude, that's over the line. We were having fun until that. Yeah. Now it's fucking ugly. necessary. Look who it is. Somebody talk a little sense into us all. It's Lady Trucker. Great. Yeah. Um, take a close look at that picture because you got the nose is the same, eyebrows are the same. Is that Rustin's long lost half brother? Yeah, I, you're looking at it harder than me. Uh, all I know is that's a bad picture of Rustin. The, why, and the then, bloated fucking John Mayer stuff has to stop. Yeah, well, this is the picture that that we as a show decided to put out there. And uh, I wanted to make sure that my fucking, I disagree with that. I voted no. Um, and still right. vote no. Now here's a very attractive lady named Just Too Groovy who wrote, and really this girl would be great for you, but she writes to us, Rustin looks like a young Chief Wiggum. Oh, no. huh. Which isn't fucking fair. That's not fair at all. And this is all because of what Liam did. Supposedly. Liam is like that fucking Chinese chick. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice all the other comments under the picture. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's uh, go through some of them. Rustin, more like O&A Fagson. <laughs> okay. Rustin, more like come and Rustin... <laughs> wait a minute. More like come r- crustin in his ass. Duh. Oh. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, what's next for Rustin? Wet biscuit without Q channel? No. Was this photo taken at a sports bar in Chelsea? Those are some incredibly limp-wristed horns. Bernie Williams still looks good. <laughs> Why does Rustin's football team wear the Chicago Bears helmets? <laughs> All right, this one just simply says cock rodeo. Tuck Faxis homo queer sickle. Blago, more like Fago. Mm. Rustin, more like Dustin, dad ass. This one I don't like. Tony Romo has really let himself go. That's fucking cruel. <laughs> this, is, this, this whole thing is cruel, Ron. I'm, I was Anthony would have a real this. problem with this interracial couple. <laughs> All right, because you guys have the fingers up. They're holding up how many times they came in each other's mouth. (laughs) The amount of fingers they're holding up is how many men they've had inside them. (laughs) Four. Hold on. Hicks is having a time of his life. I thought Hicks and I were fucking friends. We are. Hicks texted me last night. We were having a nice conversation about the fucking football game. Now he turns on me first thing in the fucking morning. Easy. Easy. Direct this at me. <laughs> yes, it's Liam. Liam did all of this. The rest of us are as big as victims as you are. I don't. I don't believe that. you're not tricking this me. This whole show I know what's looks bad. Going on here. This whole show looks bad. This was a setup and an ambush, and now this is the aftermath. I, is that uh, the gay yeah. shocker? The ambiguously gay duo. Rustin, more like I'll give you five dollars if you give me a reach around while you hum the Star Spangled Banner. Oh God, that's ridiculous. Please tell me that Rustin's wearing a wig. Crawford Bud Pirates. Um, I didn't know that Rustin used to be the lead singer for the Misfits. Hey, I found a picture that um, that it, same pose, same thing going on, except <laughs> instead of a gay man from Cosmopolitan, it's Mac fucking Brown, the, one of the best college football coaches of all time. So I'm not ashamed of being in this pose. With well, another- are you ashamed of those baggy ass shorts that you're wearing and that st- that real Bieber haircut? Yeah, that one was bad. That was. That's rough. But still, it's Mac Brown. Uh, Carl Paladino says this is gay and immoral. Was Rustin able to hold on for eight seconds? 
I guess that's another rodeo joke. Uh, oh, that's how you jack off a longhorn. I see it now. Brokeback Mountain 2 is starring Rustin and the Black Stallion. Cup those balls, Rustin. Cup them up Texas style. I would imply that I'm fucking cupping balls here. My hands are in view. This is insane. It this would is be... insane. These, co- these posters on Twitter are ridiculous, and they're not even fucking intelligent. This, uh, fuck this. All right, I'll just I don't want to be here anymore. I'll just I'm read... so frustrated right now. I'll just read one more, and then we'll drop it. Okay. What a fucking homo, both of them. Nah. Do, do we have to end it there? Can we not end it on a positive note? All right. Let's... Did anybody say anything positive? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. But, you know, the day is still early, and this Don't thing's worry, making Rustin. its way around the internet. I'm Mac Brown will probably po- post something positive <laughs> later on. Don't Go worry, Russell, I'm getting a ton of positive response. Everybody loves you. Everybody <laughs> thinks this is great. Uh, Justin in California. Now you feel like you're making me feel like I let you down. I kind of feel a little bit let down right now. Uh, just, Justin for Rustin. Morning, buddy. Yeah. Tell you about that girl that called a minute ago about being Texan or whatever. Yeah. A little bit I've been in Texas. I thought taking a uh, a gay photo with a biracial model was probably the most un-Texan thing you could do. Mm. All right, Rusty, you've taken it on the chin a little bit, right, today? Yeah, a little bit. With a set of balls. No. You're okay. going to bounce back. I feel, I feel, I don't know how that's going to happen at this point. I feel like I've... we got to get you a woman is what we got to do. I've got my... Check is flying into town next weekend, and we can all we can take a picture there, and we can put it up on two hundred two friends. It'd be the fucking... Cosmo Bachelors are coming back so quick. No, that's Fez. All right, when we hear some more, maybe we'll find some positive ones. Yeah, let's try. Rustin has sand in his vagina. Okay, he looks like the creepy weird dude in, in Goonies. Oh, that's good. Rustin more like cum farts. Hilarious. Even the fags are bigger than Texas. Oh, you're hysterical. Bobo's retarded younger brother. Good one. Here's one that just simply says, I'd fuck him. Oh, thanks. I don't That's know. That's from Ed Baxter. <laughs> <laughs> Rustin, more like Justin. Justin, time for an AIDS cocktail. Oh. Rustin, doing a little plowing in NYC. I think we've revealed a very homophobic uh, attitude in your audience today. I've, I think I've, it's unnecessary. I've, you know what? I'm picking up the same thing. Yeah. I'm picking up the same thing. I'd like to start a don't ask don't tell policy. So I'm not going to ask you what you are. Okay, don't. I won't tell you. Do me a favor. Don't fly your cousin in here and start introducing people as your girlfriend. Okay. How long is your girlfriend going to be in town for? Just the weekend. And it's, girlfriend's a rough term to use. We stay away from that. All right. Um, what time's the fag hat getting here? <laughs> Come on. I don't I, th- I thought we well, were on a team, and the we callers are on a were team. teaming up last. Can I tell you? Yeah. Uh, we're on a team. Yeah. But you told me not to call your girlfriend. I'm just trying to guess what's going on. I got no problem with it. All right? I want you to be you. Okay. I'm me. Right? I am me. And I'll, I'll take a picture with anybody. Oh. Anybody. Fuck. Oh, take a pic- no. Let's t- I'll take a picture with Chris, and then Ron, and Fez. And we can put all three of those up on 202 Friends and see which one gets gay comments. See all which right. one they fucking take what? advantage of. See these fucking callers. You'll take any picture, right? Yeah. Let's... Get a shot of you with a big hard cock and some hairy balls and say, look, even here he looks straight. Even in this picture, he looks straight. Fuzz, I expect you to come to this kid's fucking um, rescue. Well, he really needs to be more of a professional around here. When you start diving in there in the middle of stuff, you know, that's not intern duties. Mm. I feel I feel like the professionality speech needs to go to fucking Liam. Not me. And I don't Look, need to be. I, I, I'll take another chin something? for taking a possibly gay picture, but I was in no way unprofessional. In no, no way. No one's ever called Liam a professional. No. I mean, he's a fucking loose cannon running around here. To me, it looks like he's high on coke the whole time. I agree. So he probably is. You're not going to get that fucking. I wouldn't heat be from surprised me. if he was selling coke up here. All right. That went a little too far. No holds barred with Liam now. <clears throat> I used to be Liam's friend. Say hello in the hallway every time. Stop. You're known for that. You say hi to every guy here. None of the women know. That's not, I made friends with a very pretty female receptionist yesterday. You can go talk to her. She. That's uh, a tranny. Fuck. Mike Houston, you're on run a fest. Uh, shouldn't Rustin be working down at the OutQ channel instead of on your station? Mm. Uh, John, New Jersey. Hey, what's going on? I got something positive for you, Rushton, okay? I'm on your side. Okay. I'm, I'm positive that you're gay. Ouch. Nice. John, Georgia, you're on a fez. Rushton, 
more like Texas Rump Rangers. Charlie, Portland. Yeah, hey, I wanted to uh, remind Rustin that yesterday was uh, National Come Out of the Closet Day. It was a day late. Why don't you come out? Why don't you go yesterday? Come out. <laughs> Fuck face. <laughs> this is all new for you, huh? The busting balls thing. Yeah, I don't like everybody teaming up. If, if you no, bust I understand. balls, bust, come in here. We'll, we'll have fun. I'm with the hundred percent. Shit, hiding behind their me. anonymous names. Fuck these guys. Well, the, the name was Pete, I think. It's, it's a fake the... name. I screen calls, Ron. A lot of these guys are using fake names. All right, you know more than me back there. All right. And let me tell you, I'm everybody who's calling in right now. Their names are getting written down. Don't right. expect to fucking talk on the air soon. All right, I'm good. That That's down. it. Use your power. <laughs> Uh, here's Jack. You're on the Run of Face show. Hey, don't mess with Texas unless you love cum. All right, that one I didn't even know existed. Um, and here is Charlie in New Jersey. Ronnie, are, are we looking at a fall from grace like we've never seen, or is it Mr. Ronnie B? You were his favorite. You were, he was your favorite for a long time. And He's still my favorite. Show. He's the all-time greatest intern we've ever had. And uh, I can't help it. I think the kid's fantastic. This doesn't change anything with me. I love my gay intern, and I'm willing to say it at your funeral. This isn't a Heather's <laughs> moment. You don't have to do this. You don't have Seriously, to do this. Seriously, that was this. my favorite thing in that film. And it's great. But this is it. And to be actions speak louder than words. And for being a favorite intern, I feel like I'm really fucking getting. We didn't have to go to all these. Cre Crazy fucking college. All right, you know what? They're being insanely mean today I'm, for no reason. I'm fu seriously, I'm fucking sticking with you. Okay. And by the way, Fez, wouldn't this be amazing speeches for you to make every once in a while? Why are we going to these callers? Why do we need this? You got to model this kid. He's turning this thing. Look at him. You see any tears? Not yet. No, there's no tears coming. Just Ugh. anger. Just, just sperm coming. Just sperm. Just a lot of hot <laughs> semen into this fucking guy's face. <laughs> what? Yeah, woohoo! Well, finally. Just do the gay thing. <laughs> God, keep that bit going. It's really funny. Keep the bit going. No, I know how drops get pulled on this fucking show. <laughs> Too late. Apparently, you don't. Um, here's uh, Bruce. Bruce in New York. You're on my Fez. Rustin, don't let these brutes make fun of you and tease you like that. Okay. Um, by the way, I found your stocks. You left them in the room last night. <gasps> oh! That implies that this guy's fucking gay, too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. All right. Unlike you, we don't see a big problem with that. We accept all people. I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> Dan, you're running Fez. Hey. What's going on? What's Nothing's up? going on. <laughs> You don't know he yet. He didn't mean it like you that. You don't know <laughs> what he's talking about yet. Just calm hey. down. <laughs> hey, uh, is it true that Russell could suck a, uh, a fucking zucchini through a gar... No, actually through a... Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Give him a time, Russ. The kids, the guy's doing all right. Go ahead, Dan. Take two. We're going to edit this out in post. All right. Come on. Go ahead. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's, there's your representation of what's happening today. That I, fucking guy. I agree with you. Okay. I'm on your side, 100. percent Good. Gay, straight, whatever. All right. Just say straight, whatever. That's, All right, we can straight. end it there. Straight. Straight. But I'm saying, if you <clears throat> are uh, gay, yeah, no problem from Ronnie B. Of I can't not. speak for the rest of these animals. No. Uh, Cheyenne, Idaho. You're Fizz. Yeah, you want to get Russ to suck your dick? Just put some ranch on it. I don't know why you have to fucking <laughs> throw ranch into the gutter. Ranch is delicious. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Ranch in my ass. Come on. Rustin. Yeah. No big problem. You're yeah. wearing your high school shirt. You're proud of it. I was supposed to have today off. I wasn't even supposed to be here today, and this is what happens. What, why this are you is here what the again? fuck happened. Why are you here again? Because dude? I'm. Because whenever anybody needs a day off, who steps up and comes in? Who doesn't fucking take days off? I come in every day because I'm trying to help this fucking show. That but here's the thing. The fuck by Somebody day. told me that you wanted to switch out today because the Cosmo boys were coming through. <laughs> That's not what happened. I was totally unaware of the Cosmo. The, then you you only had your picture taken because he's from Texas, right? So, I only have my picture taken because Liam forced me to have my picture taken. Uh, so you were forced to do this. Yeah. One quick question. Yeah. Did you get any digits? No. I didn't. When you following up? I, I didn't even ask for digits. Would you go back there for drinks with him and his friends? No. Um. Here is Larry. Larry in Louisiana. You're on a fez. 
Well, did you say that Russell was the greatest in time ever or the gayest in time ever? Huh? <laughs> You call he he thought of that, <laughs> then he called in, yeah. and then he sat on hold <laughs> while he waited. With the, come on, I'll say it again. Yeah, Rustin is the greatest intern we've ever had. No intern has grabbed more mic time. Okay. Um, no intern has made Fez feel as happy to come to work every day. I don't know if <clears throat> I don't know if I want to take that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm joyful. Where's the boots, Fez? Um, I'm sure they're hanging up over this guy's bedpost. Uh, Rustin left him there. Right. Eight six six run zero Fez. These are the Eight. same people. These are the same people who call in with this gay jokes that they're saying to me. <laughs> uh -huh. It's the same gay jokes. They don't even think of new gay jokes. They're just <laughs> repeating the shit. Then why Somehow aren't you they're funnier crying? today? Then why aren't you bawling your eyes out, grabbing <laughs> yourself and saying it's awful? Because this is insanity. <laughs> it is this insanity. is insanity. <laughs> it's stupid. Um, I, I understand it from these guys, but I expect Fez to be here. Fez smells blood in the water. And your stool. Oh, God. Oh. Worst thing you could say about a man. Is anal. In the water? Anal. Oh, God. You know, even when I was thinking of the gay stuff, I didn't think of anal. Anal tearing. That's why there's oh. blood. Because the cock's so big, I guess. But that's where we shit. Why would they do that where we shit? Uh, 866 Ron Zero Fez. 866 Ron Zero Fez. <laughs> He sat on hold just to say that. He sat there on hold to say that to me. Uh, I'm glad, I'm Eddie glad in Virginia. There's a fucking hundred comments on this stupid picture. A hundred people. That was yeah. fast. Hey, uh, yeah, go hey ahead. gentlemen. Uh, I think this could be considered bullying. I don't want this little fella killing himself. Well, we brought that up, but I know that we're safe here because this isn't cyberbullying. This is real life bullying. This is audio. What about the callers? This is audio bullying. Because they're not here. Because for one of these guys. Are you I'm saying hearing... I could find myself on CNN talking about audio bullying? <laughs> We've heard of cyber bullying, but there's something new out called audio bullying. Yeah. We've got Ron Bennington here from Sirius <laughs> XM Radio. Ron, what do you know about this new craze? Oh, it's terrible. I'll tell you the truth. We had an intern jump off the GW Bridge yesterday. And by jump off, I mean we threw him off, hoping <laughs> I could pull a Pete Dominic and end up in every fucking newspaper in the country. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. Here's Curtis. Arkansas, you're on Red Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Rustin. I wanted to thank you for ganging up the devil's horns for all us headbangers. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Fuck face, asshole, dick wet. He good. was saying thank you. That's good. He seriously. wasn't saying it was a sarcastic thank you. You've dealt with these people, Fez. You fucking dealt with what them. Do you I think these people, they're right on today. Yeah. What is, seriously, Fezzy, is this the time for you not to think, wait, I've got a compadre, I can stick with him, and me and him could, you know, you guys could actually be Butch and Sundance oh right now. He's a little more Butch than I would imagine. Well, Fuzzy, wouldn't this be the time, though, for you to stick with this kid? Should you be with the rest of the townspeople with pitchforks and torches chasing him around simply because he had a picture taken with a male model? Seems like the way to go. All right, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, here's Greg in Miami. Texas Ranger. More like fucks ass up strangers. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well, let it just fucking settle there for a moment before you put it down. I didn't think it was clever. I don't think it's fucking good. You haven't really given it time yet. You haven't given it the settling. I got to admit, I thought he was going to go with Texas Gager, but... <laughs> <laughs> good one. Yeah. It's called audio self-bullying. And we've got some audio right now. Um... Let's go over to uh, Josh. Josh and Madison, you're on Manifest. Hey, Rustin. Yeah. What does cum taste like? <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, give me a pound, Fuzzy. Is that fucking great or what? <clears throat> Look at that. How about that? Uh, how about those Jets last night? That was a good game, huh? <clears throat> Eight six six run zero Fez. Eight six six run zero Fez. Fez was about to say something, Rustin, and you walked on it. I'm, um, I'm not even upset about that at this point because he. Oh! 
I'm not, I've been on nothing but Fez's side. I've been nothing you but have kind been. of him. Oh, That's not really, true. my That's friend. That's true. When no. you would ask you me. You have very much tried to line up against me, and now, no. and now the male model is on the other foot. I think if we can run the tapes from yesterday, Ron asked me, how's Fez doing back there in the booth? And I said, Fez is doing great. He's doing a great job. He's having a good time. He's look, feeling better, looking better. I do remember that. So I do remember you, that. I could have said, oh, he's being an asshole just sitting back. I didn't oh, say that. Whoa! I did not. I just said it now. I didn't say it then, though. <laughs> Why are you being an asshole and just sitting back there? See? Rustin, don't let this stop you from being my spy. You're definitely my spy. Uh, Clint, you're on a Fez. Rustin? More like Rustin for Fez's cock. It is starting Rustin. to come off that way. Yeah. And, I mean, this thing started at first, and now it's just getting all homoerotic, mm. and it's very weird for me. No. Yeah. Um, eight six six Ron zero Fez. Here's Jason, Jason and, and DT, wherever the hell that is. <laughs> it's Detroit, it's Detroit, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hey, Rostin, is it true that your first sightseeing uh, experience up in New York was actually Fire Island? Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. No. Ron in Kansas, Sherman sure, Fez. <clears throat> Rustin, yeah. stop the insanity, man! Just start crying and say you have a secret. This will all be over. Fezzi, has he given you uh, an idea how to roll with it, though? Well, yeah, I think I, a little bit better, yeah. I think so. All right, 866, run zero, so, Fez, eight, go ahead. There we go. I think, I think we can call it now. I think we've accomplished our mission today. Uh, good job, Chris, Ron. Oh, I thought you meant roll with the male models from Cosmo. No, no, no. Today was just a little, what we were doing the past hour, just a little exercise to teach you when callers start to turn and be real assholes. How you just kind of fucking, there we go. Let's move on. That was good, though. That was fun. That was a good time. You feel like you're a teacher from Texas? No, I just want to fucking get off the subject because it's, it's getting, it's started ugly. It's do, just getting uglier. I want to point out to people, uh, is Rustin looks a lot better than that picture. And I don't want people writing pug nose anymore. All right, let me read some of the stuff they're saying. You don't have to. I know this amazing little gay bar in Austin. Okay. Open your eyes, Deke. How do you get rust in the fuck a vagina? You rub some shit on it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. How the Hicks likes that. Oh, uh, yeah. Laugh up, Hicks. For some reason, it remind, makes me think of Pac-Man with a bad wig. Um, I like Man Ranch. Rustin looks like a cross between Pete Rose and Bruce Valanche. I like Pete Rose. I think he's a great baseball player. Rustin, Rustin got that. Mr. Yeah, I know. I read your high school thing on that. Was, it, was there some gay about it? Was no. there fucking... It was amazingly straight. Thanks. And you were in what, eighth grade then? <laughs> yeah. And writing for the newspaper. I was forced to apply, and because of my fucking talent, I got it. But last time that happens, I'm you not doing anything forced into a lot of things. No, Why I'm asked to do a lot of things because I'm a nice guy, and I don't, I don't make fun of people, and I don't turn on people. That's true. I'm a friendly person. And and you're loyal. Uh, Miles, Minnesota, you're on Fez. Rusty trombone. More like Rustin trombone. Uh -huh. Chris in Montreal. Hey, Dr. Ron Bennington. Uh, I don't think Rustin's gay. I saw him eating leather straps the other day. <laughs> lettuce wraps. Um, here's... Steve in San Antonio, one of your own. Yeah. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Ru hey, Rustin, man. Man up, dude. Well, how do you suggest I do that, Steve in San well, Antonio? Let, let me tell you something. Big let dog. Me tell you something. What's up? It is, it's good to hear you. You represent us down here. Yeah. Own it, man. Hey, be cocky about it. No pun intended. But look, man, you got to stay up there because Rick Perry's going to be president in a couple of years. You need to stay up there. Don't get fired. Ronnie Microphone, I love you, buddy. I'm out. All right, peace. Thanks, buddy. They call me Ronnie Microphone right now. <laughs> that's my name in Texas. I think that's good. Uh, Eric in Virginia, you're on Ronnie Microphone show. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. BAC 2406. All right. So, Rustin, I, uh, I, I know it's it's tough being an intern. You don't make much money, but I got to I don't make any money. I, don't make, I make zero dollars <laughs> for taking this shit from you. But go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Then why so cheap? Why so gay? Oh, that's good. That's hysterical. Oh, here's Mike in Houston. You're on Run of Fez. <laughs> Alamo Draft House, more like all homo draft house. <laughs> Man, that's your favorite place in the world, isn't it? I feel, yeah, it's unnecessary. I mean, 
Talk about me all you want, but there's no need to fucking take down the draft house. That's very true. Yeah. They're calling it now Alamo Bathhouse online, which I think is fucked up. Is there any way we can stop this? I feel like we can stop this. We can stop all the bashing. We can just, we can just move on. I agree with you. Yeah. I definitely want it to stop. And look, unlike Fez, you don't ever hear me saying you're my all-time favorite fucking intern ever. Okay. And I'll say this. Unlike most of the young people, I could see you working in this business for the rest of your life if you wanted to. And what did I tell you? I go, forget it. Use it as a stepping stone. So stop sitting here whining about it, all right? Okay. If anything, you got attention. I don't, I don't know if the attention is everything that I want, to be honest with you. You want to be a behind-the-scenes guy? I don't want to be a behind-the-scenes guy, but I think there's positive attention and there's negative attention. I've always thought any publicity is good publicity was a bullshit saying. I don't buy it. All right, so you're teaching me something about this. That maybe this isn't as positive as I originally thought. Maybe. You know, I can learn a lesson. Okay. You know? As long as we all grow from today's experience, that's all I'm interested in. Um, here's uh, Jason in Florida. Crawford, Texas. More like Crawford Princess. I don't even know what that one means. That's not even good. It's What's a Crawford princess? Do you know, Hicks? No idea. It's maybe like a kind of fairy type woman. That um, also might be a man. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. Matt, Boston, you're on Fez. Astrodome? More like Rustin's gay. Yeah, at least my name's not Matt, you fucking asshole. Oh. All right, now I think, look. That, I, that came off more angry than I meant it. I, I know. I, I've got nothing against Matts. I'm sorry, buddy. See, that's the thing. You never, uh, uh, you're, you're moving your, okay, your sorry, mic all around. You're just, you're just going crazy over there. It's really, <laughs> just move it for a second so you can hear how, you hear uh, how squeaky it is. Well, good. I hope everybody's suffering listening to that out there. I hope they hate it. Oh, they they're suffering anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it get to you. Uh, it's not going to get to me. Hey, we're going to get even with Liam. Okay, All good. Right? That's long- the new thing. Okay. Look, obviously you lost Fez in this. Yeah. But you gained me and Hicks. Yeah. Like you before. Okay. All right? Okay. So this is one of those things. You've run the gauntlet. Yeah. You showed us you could take it. Yeah. Next time you'll be with us picking on someone else. Good. Calling them to names. Yeah. yeah. That'll be fun. I, uh, I was a little shocked with Fez, though. Yeah, well, what's up with that? Why would he, uh, I don't get it. Mm. We're all confused. Now that you've heard one of my favorite songs. The fabulous Drew Brees from New- the New Orleans Saints has done nothing but, uh, excuse me, let me just start again. I got thrown off with the wrong music. Um, Get Mr. Watley the music that he loves. It wasn't the music that I had asked for. What was the music that you had asked for and what Uh, was the music that you got? I wanted a lullaby and I was told we had that. Then at the last second I was told we didn't have it so we changed it up again and I didn't get what we were changing it up to. So I was a little thrown. I'm sorry. I apologize. You you don't, don't, don't you worry. You're going to get, look at me, Big Fez. You're going to get the music that you want. You know what's going to be? What's that? Lullaby. And me and Hicks will sing it to you. How are you doing? All right, so we'll be your music. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Do you know the Lullaby and Goodnight song? Uh, no. Follow me. Okay. Uh, are you ready, Fez? I'm ready. Lullaby. The fabulous Drew Brees from the New Orleans Saints, who does nothing but give, is now giving again. Great. He's letting the fans help name his unborn son. They can send suggestions to his Twitter page, and the only criteria is that the name must begin with the letter B. Well, let's see what we can come up with. If you want to stay in the world of football, Button Hook is a nice name for a baby. Cute as a Button Hook. Blitz sounds like a tough kid. Or how about Busted Play? All right, actually, Busted Play is probably not the best name for a baby in New Orleans, because then his initials would be BP. Probably not going to keep all your adoring fans, Drew, if you name your son after the oil spill criminals. You could go with a Katrina theme and name your baby after the man who flew over New Orleans while it was drowning two and a a half days after the storm, Bush. 
Now, I'm not sure whether that's George W. or Reggie, but take your pick. Either one works. You could also name your baby after the worst non-sports sports movie ever, Blindside. Blindside Breeze. Then also, Drew, you could go with some more personal names that begin with B that have some meanings for you. You could name the baby Blotch after that conjoined twin on your face that you refuse to have removed. Balding also works if you want to name the baby after your hairline. Or you could also name the baby Bucks after the team you're, after the team you're currently trailing in the NFC South. Or just the name the baby after where your career will eventually be headed back up. I'm Fez Watley, and I hope these suggestions were helpful. How Done. was that, Fez? Thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't get the music that you wanted, though. You like the music that you like, right? Well, I just, I was expecting to hear something else, and I, when I didn't hear that, well, two thing, two other things else, and then when I didn't hear it, I thought we were still in commercials. Mm. How did it go with the uh, live acapella? I think it went very good, and I appreciate you guys doing that. Thank you. Well, now we're tired. Because, and this is the reason I won't do two shows anymore. I can't. I mean, it just takes a toll after a while. And they fucking don't understand that, the casinos, because they're all about money. Okay? But I did not get into this business for money. I got into this business for art. And that's for art's sake. Um, well, Fez, I saw you choked up there, but you pulled it back, right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And you said you learned a lot from Rustin. Oh, yeah. I guess you can learn. I mean, he made more time with the Cosmo guys than I did, so I guess there's things to learn there. So that had you extra freaked out? Right. Like I couldn't get my old buddy on the show? Yeah, exactly, where it's like, wow, I've screwed this up and, uh, and uh, by retro messing up. You don't get... Dude, let me tell you. When you screw up, we screw up. Just like when I screwed up, we go down the hall, we're on the same side. Right. Same as if you got a problem on the outside. And like when Fuck Rustin that. got that picture taken, look bad for all. You know of us. what? When Rustin got that picture taken of him blowing that guy, yeah. I said to myself, "Does this change the way I think about Rustin?" And off the air, yes. And in my personal life, yes. Mm. But professionally, I stay exactly the same. Really, off the air, you you you, you don't think of me like that anymore? Oh, I I meant off the air for me, not for you. What? I. I thought you said, "Am I still your favorite?" Or is yeah, you does. What? One, what? What is? That? What's happening? I thought. Well, let's not forget about Thing Three. I mean, there's wow. been some great interns. Love Ver Thing Three Vertigo. over the years. Vertigo was amazing. Frankenberry. Frankenberry, <laughs> fantastic. Who are these people? Velvet Underground. <laughs> let's not forget about Velvet Underground. Now, not one of these, you know, names could I pick out of a lineup. Nasratu. God. Well, him I remember because supposedly he stole the ashtray. I think he did stole Right, yeah. Stover. By the way, are you going to blow me away at Christmas this year? Yeah, I think so. I already have a couple ideas working. Can I give you a hint? Yes. Box of cigars. 